made a really good talk and we kind of agreed that there's no point in putting a label on it because everything's kind of okay and we like spending time with each other and that's fine. And then you had a, that head injury and now you don't remember any of that and it's just put everything right back to square one where I'm kind of wondering if you've forgotten it because you don't want to remember it because you were a little bit confused. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, just, we're just being a pain of thing. Yes, oh, Mr. Move out the way. Let me just have a word with your receptionist. Just gonna give him a few tips of the trade. Right? <laughs> Brooks, are you and Ralph exclusive yet, or are you just stringing him along? Oh, <laughs> fucking get them. Gobble, why do you keep stroking my leg? I am not. A bit higher, Gogo. Uh, uh, hey, you know what? I can drop you. <laughs> Gogo, are you trying to take my temperature? Oh, shut the fuck up. Gogo's, What's going on? Gogo's okay, giving me some kind of prostate exam, I think. I'm not giving you a prostate um, <laughs> so I think Gogo you know was, was likely checking your temperature. Gogo, what was the temperature? Oh, you stop laughing. Uh, uh, I don't think we could do the, the, the bum bum kiss today. I think we're just going to have to do bog standard just, um, medical stuff. I'm also stupid and messy. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm calling myself stupid. That sounded like I was calling you stupid. I mean, you did say also. No, I know. Can I help you? Can I help you? What are you doing here? It's not piss. <laughs> Just oh. chilling here in my rock. <laughs> Piss, 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 Davey, I'm really fucking anal. What about this one? Could you do this one? What about this one? Oh. <laughs> I love you, Ralph. It was a good DV tray. Yeah, a good DV oh, tray. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. A good DV tray. I am. I've fucking seen it once. Can I take the piece? Yeah. Why, do you, do you want me to sponge you, Brooks? No, I don't have a criminal record. I'd still sponge you if you asked. Right, Ralph. Uh, yeah, and you also Violet. one time. Would, wait, what? who's Violet? Nobody. Um, <laughs> this is Ralph. going wrong. That shower we took together? Okay, sadly I remember that. But it was a together. I was just helping you with your back. My anus is okay, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, I believe you didn't want to pee or poo anymore. Yes, well, there are a lot of people who give to charity, but also aren't too nice. Like, it, it kind of makes them feel better, but doing a small good thing for all the bad things they do. Sells all sorts. What licorice? No, not licorice. If you can't see his ass, it means you're a pervert. I won't mess up again. Girlfriend, the list of all the things that you put your dick in that I am a, aware of. A live strong bracelet. We got a Boston cream donut. Uh, those slime aliens that everyone believed could have babies. The sleeve yeah. of an Amber Combian Fritch polo shirt. The exhaust of a Vauxhall Corsa. The space is in the leaf of a monster plant. I don't even know what a monster plant is. I've gone dogging this time. I've gone dogging. <laughs> no one clip that. No one clip that. I feel a bit daft that. Tell me about poverty. I know I'll see you again, even if it's just when you're tasing me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Do you want me to pretend to be Brenda for you? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm just double checking some stuff because some things are not working. So I just want to <laughs> double check something because, of course, I've had the I've had the PC turned off for a bit and uh, everything's decided to stop working and all the things that have updated have just not updated. So it's fun and games. Hello, uh, Josh. Thank you for the sub. If you'd like to play high low, we can play that in just a sec. Hello, Vision M. Hello, Brooke. Hello, Speedy. Um, yeah, I just want to double check um, why I'm not hearing. So just bear with me. Ooh, it's a new follower. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. Why did I know you Josh's thing then? Uh, let me just te test this again. Let me let me trigger Josh's thing again. Oh, we got a subscription! Oh my god, like that the, the money I goes fixed to it. charity. It's really I fixed cool. It. Hello, hello. Oh god, so many cups on my desk. Um, <laughs> how is everyone? It's Sunday. Um, you want to play high low, Josh? We have approved the new logo, um, but I haven't changed anything yet. Uh, we're probably going to change everything all at once. Uh, so let's go over to... What's up, guys? It's time for another edition of Atav Cyan Low! And there's my can of raw energy. Josh, you're starting cards at two. Higher than a two? It's a five. Higher or lower than a five? Higher or lower. Higher. It's a jack. Higher or lower. High or low. Higher or lower. It's high. Booby. It's a four. Higher or lower. It's higher or lower high. A five. Josh is so close. You need one more. You need one more, Josh. Higher or lower. Higher or lower. Yes. Ah, what a way to... What a way to start! Uh, an actual, an actual win on the high or low. You you become the fifth, one two three four, the fifth, the fifth winner so far this month. Um. So yeah. Enjoy, Josh. Enjoy. Um. I don't think I have anything to say there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm denied about doing the stream today. Uh, it's been a bit of a fuss uh, with everything. Um, we've obviously had a busy a busy few days with everything that's going on. Um, but, yeah, we, we got back late last night. And uh, it was it was quite nice to be back. Um you know, it's it's nice to go away, but I'll be honest, the last day was a bit of a fucking nightmare. Um we were both absolutely knackered by it. Um to to go through all that I think just was a bit too much. Um we were just both really tired the whole day and just like <laughs> struggled through it. Jack was being a little shit the last day. Um I will say um glad to have gone but glad to be home yeah i will say and i think this is the case for you know if you know anyone who's a a, a single parent um they're doing a fucking great job because like me and rach obviously have each other to work together with on stuff like this and it still drains us to fuck um yesterday we were both knackered in, in fact um 
we we were so tired like i'm actually gonna book a massage in for tomorrow because i'm so tired um but we we're just like oh god i don't know if i can take any more i think i think we need to we need to like get uh get an actual chill out but yeah it's just so tired But yeah, we've uh, we've had a bit of a, a break and yeah, we had a good time. Uh, it, it's funny, like we were talking, it was because uh, obviously, you know, we've been to Disney before and we went to Disney um, with Jack last year. And it's like, um, like we went just like a week before his first birthday last year. Hey, Stag. And, uh, and like it was very different to this time because now we can walk and stuff and he's heavier <laughs> so the the plus side of it was last time it was quite easy to get him into the pram whereas this time he would throw tantrums when you put him in the pram and he would be a bit of a nightmare so it was quite difficult at times to like get him to stay in the pram and and chill out so yeah it was it was very much like uh like yeah oh god we are kind of like done in here so <laughs> um from there it was a bit of a bit of a nightmare um but yeah yesterday he just didn't want to do anything um so it was really difficult to try and organize him to do anything um but yeah we uh we kind of uh kind of basically just kind of got him to kind of chill out we we met woody so if you've not seen in the discord i tried to post a lot of pictures of what happened in disney and uh and you know what we were doing at the time so if don't don't need to um don't need to actually uh join the discord like i know everyone's in a lot of discords but yeah it was it was quite nice to um to do stuff yeah um anyway i'm gonna load up i'm gonna load disney and we're getting to disney and then we'll talk about stuff while we're doing stuff i think it was really interesting because like we had a lot of we had a lot of fun but like you see like the difference that it makes the um that it that it makes for like um seeing people and like being able to do stuff um with with the with the like hanging out with people and doing stuff together who are those monkey feathers jack met at the end of the baby talk channel oh god let's have a look you don't know you don't know who they are. That's King Louie and Baloo from the Jungle Book. What do you mean, Josh? You don't know King Louie and Baloo? The monkey fellas. Oh my God, Josh, I should ban you right now. Unbelievable. Oh God, look, our last stream was the... Uh, was the gta one when i ended on the black screen so everything was shut off on this on this uh overlay yeah we're we're doing some work on messing with overlays and stuff um so things are gonna change slightly in in the next uh few days slash weeks and stuff so we'll see how it goes hello paul Ah, oh, look, uh, small taff bots having a go at you already. Bloody small taff bot, he's always having a go at you, Paul. It is horrible. I can't believe the streamer lets this happen as well. But yeah, it was a, it was a great trip away, but it did make me me reflect a bit and like 
we we went to pretty sure it goes free in a few weeks so it's on game pass on the pc so if you've got game pass on the pc this is this is on there for free at the moment um oh i did have my box of stuff this is stuff i bought at disney so um we bought some we bought some ears these are thunder mountain ears should i should i pop them on should we pop them on oh god There's, there's my book that I took to read that I didn't touch at all. And, and Rachel's ears that she bought. So Rachel bought some ears. What else have we got? I bought myself some... Some badges, which I think are there. I'm just trying to see because... I'm looking in this bag and a lot of this stuff is Jack's. With all the ears at once. Ah! So look, Jack bought like uh, a set of bath toys, Marvel bath toys, um, which were were so you could play in the bath. Jack also this holiday was obsessed with Forky, so. I think if there was anything Forky related, he's probably bought it this holiday. <laughs> um, there was a little Buzz Lightyear toy that came with a miniature Forky. Uh, there was a Forky keyring, which he's bought, which I'm actually going to steal. Um, I think I'm going to hang some keyrings above my desk. <laughs> bought some Disney pens because they had the gang on them. And I was like, that's cool. That's what I call the big six. It's weird, like, how Disney rank them. Because, like, you find that Disney rank Chip and Dale quite high. And I don't think Chip and Dale in my rankings would be as high as Disney rank them. Um, I bought this mini and Mickey key ring. Because, yeah, I thought it's quite cute that, like, they're, they're kind of stick together. Or they've got... I don't think they're supposed to stick together. I think it's just a bit of gel that they've put on there. But it's they, they've got a heart that they joined together. Which isn't red for some reason. I bought a Pua key ring. And the reason I bought a Pua key ring is because... Um, we always like... Uh, I, was, I was buying other key rings, which I was saying were representative of the family. So, Rachel's favourite film is beauty and the beast so i bought bell for rage and then i bought jack jack from the incredibles for jack and then spider-man for me so i was like i need to buy something that represents ralphie so i was like ralphie's a little piggy so poor and then um i also bought uh this little fella because um me cody and ruby are the rats and uh, I wanted to make sure I got something that represented the the rat gang and then um, a load of badges Jack's got really into badges as well um I bought this key ring as well because I thought it was cool so it's like metallic uh Spider-Man with a Christmas hat. Uh, this was a 2023 badge, which I thought was cool. Which has had the, the the main four, I would say. Mickey, Minnie. Although, do you know, I think I'd replace Pluto with Goofy, to be honest. Uh, this Disney 30 badge. Which I think is cool because it makes the 30 look like Mickey Mouse's ear. Mickey Mouse. But if you look at it that way, it's, it's actually a three and a zero. Uh, Jiminy Cricket, which I meant to show Phoebe while we were there. Because obviously, Jiminy Cricket, given half a chance, I would ruin. <laughs> Grumpy, because you've got to love Grumpy. The 
the boys, Chip and Dale, but this is Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. I think Rescue Rangers is is one of the best for me. And I also bought this 2023. I was thinking that I'll give Jack the other one. But uh, yeah, this one, Chip and Dale are on for me. And then finally, this badge, which is Ursula. It's hard to see. It's very dark, but apparently it glows in the dark. But uh, that's that's what that's what I bought. Let's, let's put ourselves over here. So I angle this slightly up so you see more of the... There you go. You see the ears now. Right. Oh, God. Got to plug our controller back in. The lady chipmunk Pink was talking about. Where did Pink talk about that? The, I did see the Lady Chipmunk, and I agree with everything that the Pink said to me in private about it, but I didn't realize Pink had also talked publicly about it. Right, where do we have... What what jobs do we have to do? Because um, we found a sock. We gotta go to the Toy Story realm. We need one more aquamarine, and then we need stuff from the Wally -E range. I was in Ruby's Discord. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh! Yes! All right. I tend to just buy everything from his store. Where is, um, who else do we have who's not at 10 yet? Ursula and Ariel. Woody and Buzz. So where's Woody and Buzz? Are Woody and Buzz not here? Oh, there's Buzz. What's more important, bravery and integrity? Integrity. We need both. Fuck, fuck, sake. Come with me, Buzz. Wait, do I pick all these and get loads of stuff from Buzz already, or? God, so much shit has gone. Did I just pet Pua? There, look. Oh, fuck. Uh, right, let's go and dump all our stuff in our house. And then we'll work out what we're doing next. So we need 100, uh, like 70 clay still to do the mini quest. I suppose it is a pity that there isn't just a move everything over at once button. Nothing in that box. I actually think that box that we just did was wrong, but that's fine. Right, these are diamonds. We don't have those. Stone. Brick is in there. Sand is not in there, but gold is. 
lots of inventory management today, guys. I hope you like inventory management because because that's what's happening. Normal wood. Yeah, we're good there. This is these. So this stuff, I think we just put in here. So what we're going to do is just move all this stuff and then move all this stuff back in. And then put in the right folders. Great, great bit of inventory management here, guys. Right. What is in this one? Why is there coal in there? Is there coal in here as well? Coal in here as well. Right, let's let's get this sorted. Coal out. Right, those go in there. Those can go in there. That's good. Iron go in there. There's no coal in there. So we put coal in this one. And then what's this dream shard? Right. And then food. Corn. Corn we don't have. Chilies we don't have. Okay, okay. Okay, we don't have anything, like, white. Okay, we can't... We can't move that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, so all of that stuff is full. Apples are not full. Mint is not full. Wait, we haven't had seaweed anyway, so can we put seaweed in this one? And I don't think we've had sugarcane. It's okay, Paul. We always appreciate our lurkers. Oh my god, Taff, look! Look, <laughs> look, look, look! This person just subbed! We didn't we didn't see Elsa diet. We didn't see Elsa. We we um The only the only princesses we saw. Although oh shit, we did see Elsa! I waved at Elsa on the parade. We did see Elsa on the parade. <laughs> um we uh we saw uh we walked past the um uh the I wanna get this right. We walked past the evil queen from uh Snow White. Now is that Ma that's not Maleficent. Is that Maleficent? It's not Maleficent, is it? Okay, so that's same again. That's amazing. Um, yeah, it's Maleficent, but it's, she's not called Maleficent in Snow White, is she? She only got called Maleficent afterwards, right? Is that right? But yeah, we walked past her, and she was so tall. And I turned to Rach and went, "Oh, does it make you sad to think that you could never be a Disney princess?" And she was like, "They're not all tall." It's not said in any f in the film. Yeah, right. That's what I thought. Ah, there you go. We did, um... 
Right, anything we've got now we can sell. So st stop doing other things. There's no problem with being a Disney adult. Right, I was thinking this because I nearly tweeted something about it. And then I was like, oh, I can't be bothered with like people like... <laughs> I can't be bothered. Not so much with the idea of like people subtweeting me. But like thinking about people thinking the things even if they're not exactly saying it. What's that? Um, but I was thinking like, there's loads of people who enjoy going out and getting absolutely blasted drunk and doing whatever they want to do. I don't really go out like drinking massively. Like, I, I do it occasionally, but very rarely. But it's not massively my thing. And I had, a, I had an amazing time spending a load of time with my kids, meeting a load of Disney characters. And to be honest, Having a great fucking time myself. Like, if you've seen the picture of me with King Louis, that's pure joy. <laughs> the realization when um, when King Louis walked out with Baloo, and we thought it was only Baloo. Um, yeah, I've I've posted like again. This is not an advert for the Discord in any way, but the amount that I post in the Discord is obscene. I was thinking, like, people are going to fucking hate me. <laughs> but it's my Discord, so fuck them. Um, but yeah, like, I haven't... I don't think I've posted the pictures from the last day, but, like, the picture that I posted on Twitter earlier of um, of Jack um, on his own with Woody was, like, so cute. There's, like, a video as well of him meeting Goofy and having a dance with Goofy that's just the best. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Seb can frig off. Yeah, I, th I think, like, as I've got older, I've been like, just do what you fucking like. Doesn't matter. Hello, Scrooge. The villagers are depending on you, my friend. They'll never give up. They're... They're... they're Options for stuff is so rubbish. Oh, yeah, I was showing all the... So I bought a load of key rings and stuff, look. So I bought I bought Ratatouille because me, me and a bunch of pals are the rats. And then I bought... I'm going to hang these. Like, I've got a little hanger on this thing above my desk. Uh, Belle, because Rachel's favorite film is Beauty and the Beast. We've got Spider-Man for me. Uh, Jack-Jack from The Incredibles to represent Jack. And then... Uh, Pua to represent Ralph. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Let's buy that. Let's buy that as well. They're cool bosses. Oh, greetings, neighbor. <laughs> Look at all this green light. <laughs> oh, Jesse was obsessed with them. Um, uh, sorry, Ralph was a uh, Ralph. Jack was obsessed with Jesse. We walked past Jesse at one point, and um, I went up to the guy and I was like, "Oh, can we join the queue?" And he was like, "Oh, she's it's actually full. You can't you can't join it." And Jack was in absolute bits afterwards. Is that reckon Ralph? What's that from? Oh, Wally. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jack was in bits when he realized he couldn't see Jesse. Like, we walked away and we had to go back. And then when he actually met her, he was so nervous. <laughs> They've still got the sword in the stone. We had a picture with the sword in the stone. I think, in fact, this is very risky to um, to share my very risky tactic to share my Discord screen here. No one sent me anything dodgy on um, on on Discord right now. Um,
Oh, this this video. Um, the best thing about that, which I don't think, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll through all of these now, but um, have I got the picture? He did actually give him a hug in the end, um, and he was like, "Oh my god, it's so cute." He he actually turned around. He was stood at the front for the picture, and he turned around to give Pluto a hug and got so excited. And you can see my face; I look fucking awful. But like I was looking at Jack and Jack just had the biggest smile on his face. Um, but yeah, this is the vast quantity of pictures that I've posted into the Discord. So I apologize to anyone. Fucking diet, what have you done? I'm not opening that. It's a good job I had the video open. But yeah, the sheer quantity of pictures that I've posted. But there. There's us with the sword and the stone. And there's him giving Pluto a uh, uh, thingy of high five. This was this was cute as well. He's you. He's sniffing you. He's sniffing you. He's sniffing you. Oh, he's sniffing daddy. Oh. Oh, he's sniffing daddy. Oh. And that's our pal Charlie. Well, fun fact. So the entire reason that we went to Disney was because it was our pal Charlie's birthday, who I met through streaming. I only know Charlie through streaming um, and Charlie came to my birthday party last year with a bunch of pals who were also at Disney and now we've been to Disney with them as well. These are all like a bunch of people who I've only ever met through streaming. Um, streaming pals can be real pals. There's there's a bunch of them. This isn't even all the people who were there. There was another like three people who were there. This this was uh, the morning we went for a character breakfast and not everyone went. Um but yeah, streaming pals are real pals. Like, don't don't ever like let let anyone tell you any different. Fuck off! <laughs> You're exposing the the fucking group chats here, Lisa. Now people are gonna be like, why have they got a BV awareness group chat? Look, there's there's Rachel and Eeyore. Absolutely loves Eeyore. But look at look at his face. Look how excited that boy is. I don't know if I can open in browser. I don't know what I had open in the browser last. Look at it. Look at him sneaking a look over at Winnie the Pooh. And yeah, this is uh, this is the picture that where just sheer joy on my face. But I got more to put in there. This is already fucking enough. So I apologize to everyone who's seen like a million Disney pictures. There's more to come. Pee pee poo poo, is it diet? Pee pee poo poo, thank you, diet. Wanna go back to Disney? Well, we were talking that we'd like love to take him to, um, we'd love to take him to Florida now. Um, but also, I'll be honest, the last day was a fucking nightmare. We were, <laughs> I, I will give credit to like um, single parents out there who do it all themselves like fucking big ups to you because the last day we had such a pain like Jack was just in a bad mood like he was in a bad mood most of it he didn't really like going any of, on any of the rides uh, <laughs> Elsa diet says hello um, he didn't really want to go on any of the rides he was grumpy about everything uh, he just consistently, like, was in a strop about stuff. We even went on the train and he had a, a 
a proper mod about the train. We nearly had to get off the train because he was like proper stropping. I can't remember. I've got to find um. Because our, our game broke and these things hadn't spawned. Now they've spawned. You would have hated it. Oh, well, like, we went on the Aladdin ride. And, like, he actually really enjoyed the Aladdin ride last time. But he was a bit funny with it. And then um And then afterwards he was like proper like stroppy, so he was like, oh god. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Where's Goofy's store? Oh, it was right here. Anything that moves them on it? I think the only rides I went on, um, we went on a couple with Jack that just didn't go well. And then I went on, um, um, oh, press the wrong button. I went on the, the new Spider-Man ride, which I really enjoyed. You basically have to sit there and go like that, but obviously I did the fingers. Like, you've got to fucking do the fingers. But it, it tracks your arm movement, so it, it sees when you're shooting the webs at stuff. Um, Obviously, I did the fucking fingers. You've got to do the fingers. <laughs> if you're not fingering, what are you doing? That's what I want to know. Um, But yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, it was really good. The, the food at Disney's rubbish though. Like we, we booked at a lot of the restaurants cause we wanted to make sure that we had places that would be okay for Jack to eat and that we'd be able to have a sit down and a break and all of the food places. The only place that we thought was any good was actually Pim's Kitchen, which I think is the newest place there. And Pim's Kitchen is like the Marvel restaurant and it's very much themed around um uh like uh that they've used the Pim's technology where you can make things bigger or smaller to make some foods that are small giant and some foods that are big small. I know I should add that to the quotes, am I right? Static? <laughs> but yeah it was funny there was a few times i think i posted in the i, I joined the quiet city meeting uh and people were shouting at me because they were like you let disney go enjoy yourself and it's like we have a baby i'm literally sat here waiting for the baby to go to sleep i have nothing to do right now But there were there were certain things like like we didn't get to we didn't get to hang out with our pals as much as we would have liked to um you know and see them and do stuff but you know that happens when you you've got a kid you know you miss you miss out on certain stuff cuz you know you've got a kid so i think one one night it was really nice a bunch of them uh came to our hotel to have a drink but it was like, even then, I was able to go down for like half an hour. <laughs> and I felt really bad that I was like, I was like, oh, I can only really come down for a bit because I've got to give Jack a bath. But it was, it was really like, I felt really fucking blessed that, um, that they came and, uh, came and like hung out at the hotel with us. Uh, we stayed at the Newport Bay Hotel. Um, we have stayed before at the Marvel Hotel, but the Marvel Hotel is like fucking, it's expensive. So this time we stayed at um, Newport Bay, which was a bit cheaper, which is kind of themed around um, 
it's kind of a nautical themed place um so there's a lot of uh a lot of kind of like um like they had say they had a, a different character in reception every day and it was kind of nautical themed versions of the main characters so while we were there we saw um i think it was pluto Oh, there goes Woody. Uh, Pluto, uh, Donald, and Goofy were the three that we saw in reception at our place. Are we got to go to Mother Gothel? Yeah. Where is Mommy? Is her house? Hmm. Let's go down here, though, because we could do with saying hello to Ariel. I should have checked more presents Ariel wants because we need to up our friendship with her. But yeah, it was a it was a great time. Um But it does it does make me like like I felt bad that we maybe didn't get to like see our pals as much as we would have liked to but it's like you know we didn't want to we didn't want to take away from them having a good time like um when we went to the ch character breakfast it was really funny because like obviously all the characters kind of look at jack um as soon as they come over to the table and i ended up having to go like oh it's charlie's birthday go say hello to charlie if you Right. From taking control of this what bag. do you want? You want a red passion lily, a shiny amethyst, and chili pepper puffs. We can do that. Goodbye. We can do that. That's easy. I I never know. Is it like just giving them one gift? <laughs> no worries, Zane. Thank you for the lurk. Glad to see you back streaming as well, Zane. Is that all the flowers? Uh, so she wants a shiny amethyst. You want one of those. What else does she want? You can look here, right? Shiny amethyst, red passion lily. And then chili pepper puffs. Have we got chili pepper puffs? I'm going to guess that it's a chili, egg, and cheese. You try that? Chili? Egg, cheese. Fucking that's that's how you do a diet. You don't look up. You you work it out yourself. I look it up all the time. Diet. Don't listen to me. Right. What does uh, what does uh, Ursula want? Tamag Tamagoy Kai. Tamagoy Goyaki. Tamagoyaki. Well. Right. 
Rice and eggs? Rice and eggs? Surely. Rice. Eggs. Is there anything? You can get seaweed, can't you? Seaweed? Where's seaweed? We're gonna go for that? No! Uh, don't worry about what I'm doing. Um, I'm not. I'm not on another window right now. The reason the music's gone is not. Um, is not because I'm looking up anything. Um, don't don't think that I'm. Surely that's got rice on it. Egg and sugar cane. I would have never have got that in a million years. What else did she want? She wanted something else, didn't she? She wanted gooseberries. And then did she want a flower? We should probably give um, purple marsh milkweed. We should probably give Woody and Buzz their favourites as well. I did. I did not look at what purple marsh milkweed looks like. I know Wood. One of them wanted this, right? I think Buzz wanted this, right? Orange Nasterium, purple in patins. I'm saying that quote totally wrong. Right, where's Buzz? Orange Nesferians. Don't know if I said that right. And then these purple things. And then he wanted he wanted one of the gels. One of the gems. Which of the gems was it? Shiny tourmaline. He wants a diamond? Going to level eight, though. I like that they're little. I didn't realize Buzz was a gardener. We may as well do the gardening with Buzz now because we'll, we'll level him up so quick. Come on, Buzz, because I can get you up to 10 here. Easy.
There's a trick you can do where you lock your buddy in a in like a cage and then you open them up afterwards and they spit loads of stuff out for you. But I can never be bothered to do that. Look at all these bonuses though. No! Who's your favorite character? Uh, Donald. Donald's the man. We were so happy that we got to see Donald at Disney. So, um, if you've not been to Disneyland Paris, um, you don't... There isn't, like, a character meet for Donald anywhere in the park. And Donald's my favorite character, so I was gutted about that. You know, we've been there before. <laughs> Look, I blame the devs for that. Closer. They added that as a functionality. But you don't get to meet Donald if you go to Disney Paris. Uh, there, isn't a, there isn't a Donald meet and greet. But... When we got back to our hotel, because the hotel has got, like, special characters on. The hotel had Donald there. And I was so happy. And, like, you've got to bear in mind, like, Jack's bedtime when we're home is normally uh, about 6 o'clock. So Jack goes to bed about 6 normally. At Disney, <laughs> the meet and greets with the characters in reception would start at, like, half 7. So we'd usually be getting home about there, and then it'd be like, oh, sh oh shit, we've got to go and meet Donald. Like, we've got no choice here. That's all right, I knew what you meant. Look at all these pumpkins. I think we're going to run out of space here. Stop giving poo a fuss! I really want to go to Florida to see the new Avengers stuff, because, like... um, So, Pim's Kitchen was definitely the best place we ate. And I thought the Spider-Man ride was wicked as well. I'm going to go to the shop and sell all this stuff. Oh, we do need to go and see... Ursula's over there now. Should we go see Ursula? There she is. Pim's Kitchen was definitely the best food-wise, but like the Avengers bit looked really cool. I think um, it was just like a bit disappointing that I didn't get to go on the roller coaster. Wait, what does she want? She wants the Tamagoy, Tamagoy Kai thing. Nice. And then, uh, the purple marsh milk we had as well, didn't we? And there's the gooseberries. <laughs> Did, that didn't seem to go up for her then. Oh, was it not gooseberries I gave her? There you go. I like how she calls me angelfish. And then, the purple marsh milkweed. Did I not get that? There it is. Oh. Oh, someone's on a roll. <laughs> Wait, is uh Mommy's not down here. Is uh Is 
Ariel's up there. May as well pop and see Ariel while we're here. So happy to meet Woody and Jesse when I went to Orlando. Yeah, Jack's uh, Jack's a big fan of Toy Story, and I think I think this trip solidified it for him. Right, let's sell the right things here. There you go. Just beautiful. Toy Story is great. Yeah, I think I think the whole Toy Story I think the whole like consistency of Toy Story. The the amazing thing is I find it hilarious that Jack has fallen for Forky. Which obviously the whole thing of uh You find a written version of the movie in Wallace. <laughs> nice. The whole thing of that Toy Story film, the fourth one, is that, um, you know, like the kids make the makes their own thing. I like that I'm not even getting like rewards for gardening anymore because I've got them all. Was did you look much like my character looks here? I'd fucking, I think, that, like I said earlier, that I'd, I think like. People make fun, but like, like what you like, like I, like I've said a million times, like, um, you know, I've I've made fun of furries in the past, and I'll hold my hands up and say, like, I don't fully understand the, you know, the furry culture or what they're into and stuff, and like, as long as they're not out there hurting anyone, like what you like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> do what you want to do, enjoy what you want to enjoy, as long as you're out there having a good time and enjoying it and loving life and not hurting anyone else do what you want to do it wasn't a sex thing it's okay if it was a sex thing was it i'm i'm okay with if it was a sex thing for you that's okay if it was a sex thing which it, i mean it, it feels like it was a bit of a sex thing for you was it i gotta say <laughs> Did he take you to infinity and beyond? Did, uh... <laughs> we didn't actually get to meet Buzz. Uh, there was a meeting for Buzz. Uh, but it was during... Um, during times of the day when Jack was asleep. So we couldn't, couldn't do it. Couldn't fit it in. Look, it's it's a nice sentiment, but to be honest, like it comes from years and years of, um, you know, maybe like not being as nice a person as I am now, and I think the the times have educated me to go look right, just like fucking let people like what they want to like. Like I don't fucking I don't understand anime. It's not my thing. Whenever I've tried to watch anime, I've not really, like, ever got into it. People want to watch, sit there and be, like, obsessed with anime and buy, like, you know, these figurines on the internet and stuff. That's cool. Let them do that. Like, yeah, there'll be times when, you know, I'll make a joke about someone for the things that they like. But, you know, usually that's in jest with a friend. Not in a, not in a way that I go, if you like this, then you're an idiot. You know? There's people out there who like doing dev work. Jesus Christ. You know the worst people? The the people who like moderating. <laughs> this is this is no jab at llama here. Um sounds like a jab at llama. Sounds a lot like a jab at llama. Um But yeah, I can't I can't imagine anything worse than being a moderator in thousands of different forums. Like, I made a joke about being, uh, 
being a moderator on Quiet City uh, in like a, a mo in a mod report I did. And I like, I only meant it as a joke because literally like, I do not think like, I 100% I like in the same way that with like friends channels and stuff. And I'll say I'm happy like if anyone ever needs help with anything or needs like help with their with like moderation in any way like if you get hate raided and don't know what to do and you need someone to help you out with that I'm quite happy to help you out 100% uh but like moderation <laughs> i fucking i hate modding i hate having to make decisions to be honest i'm a passionate um i'm a passionate thinker as well and so i just don't think i'd be very good at it i i want to see quiet city grow and improve and stuff and you know, I will do all I can to help Quiet City grow and improve. And the same with, like, my friends' Twitch channels. You know, the people that I love to see, I'd I'd go out on my way to help people that, uh, you know, I want to see grow to help them grow. But I fucking can't stand moderating. <laughs> but that's not a dig at, like, you, Diet, or anyone. <laughs> It's not a person that moderating is not for me. You're too tempted to abuse my power. 100% abusing the power. Abusing the power so quick. <laughs> oh, all my enemies can, can feel my rage. Ban David in every chat. See, that's why I have a no no joke bans policy. Because um I I used to like I used to really like ban people and stuff in chat. And then I was like, oh, now with shared band list and stuff, and like also I want it to be that in the future if someone comes on as a mod on the channel and they see someone being a bit strange in chat and then they look at their profile and they think Oh god, they've been banned like you know, a bunch already in chat, and they don't know that it's like someone who maybe isn't around as much now, but used to be around. So like, yeah, I was like, was like no joke bans. <laughs> I thought it was oh is it it's this, isn't it? Again, this sounds like I'm having a dig, and I'm hundred percent not. Where's Mother Gothel? She's never up there. Where are you, mommy? Anna? Where is she? Oh, she's in the shop. But yeah, that's why I have a no jokes ban thing. Especially with like shared ban lists coming in, because you don't want uh, you don't want someone's uh, stuff to be shown on someone else's channel. Yeah, the fragments. So what do I need to do? Uh -huh. Well, there's a crafting station here, so this is okay. Shiny gift and a naughty gift? What's, what are these? Why does Scar need a sunbird feeder? Have I missed something? We need two. They should really, like, put stuff at the top of the list. Why are we, why are we tracking the one...
near the pond on Sunlit Plateau. Good day, dear. Thank you. Also, I never realized how big Stitch is in Disney. Fucking hell, Stitch is like Hello. crazy. Like Stitch had some of the biggest queues and like um was like so much Stitch merch. Stitch is like the second Mickey. Mickey? There was, there was like whole sections in some of the shops of just Stitch, and I was like, "Is Stitch this big?" I didn't, I did not realize the Stitch was this big. Are we gonna find the villager who owns the chewed up sock? Wait, did it say it had a goof, a G on it? It's just gonna be goofy, isn't it? Well, the easiest way is just to get Goofy to come to a shop. Oh, shit. we got to get some plants down. Fuck. I've only just realized it's raining. I'm sorry, guys. Abandon everything. Uh, We'll go get pumpkins again. When they were doing trailers of him invading all the... Is this Sunlit Plateau? No. Sunlit Plateau is there. It is one of his socks. Maybe the sock bandit wants us mish mashed. Mish, mish mashed. Look around Goofy's house. Wait, Goofy, I just want to check. Can I... Have I got some stuff to sell to you? No, I don't have anything to sell to you. Never mind. Okay, I know it's raining and I know I need to do this really fast but also i do have a mission to do something here so you know right return to scar Get the right hole, Taff. I didn't. That was a that was a mistake. Uh, d d d d d d d d. Uh, drop. Okay. Okay, Buzz. Buzz. Buzz, we need to really go. Buzz, I completely forgot it was raining. Come on, Buzz. A slip of the tongue. Zane, don't you start. What is that noise? Elsa, Jesus. Jesus, Elsa. Turn the game up a little bit because it's quite quiet. But Elsa was making some noises there. Elsa and Goofy. 
Now that's a pain. I really, really did enjoy a lot about Disney though. I really like the if you've been, uh, like I don't know how long they've been doing the song, but Dream Big and Shine Brighter, the song, it just gets stuck in my head after going to, to fucking Disney every time. Hey everyone, it's time for us to dream big and shine brighter. No! Fuck. It makes me want to dance though. I'm looking forward to getting back into Quiet City though. Um, I do need to have a little bit of an idea. I I might film a little video of Ralph at lawyer school, but I would need <laughs> I would need maybe at least one other person. But I might I might jump onto the test server later try and work out if I could do it because I think it would be really funny to do like a little Ralph at lawyer school yeah I'll well I might message you diet because like I was trying to think of what I could do because I figured it would be a nice thing to like do as like Like a little intro for the stream, but also a little advert for the stream tomorrow to say, hey, look, Ralph's been to lawyer school. I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Uh, Emily had messaged me before she'd said about being a lawyer. No! Uh, she'd messaged me about about possibly creating a lawyer character. And I was like, like look, I'll be honest. Um, Being a lawyer, you do have to do a bit of work like a bit of like actual work <laughs> like i've not played pd i've done ems and you know all all respect to the ems i i'm clapping for you every night i'm clapping for you every night ems <laughs> um but uh you don't have to do much fucking work you just you just press a button and get them up and you can RP the rest of the stuff. With a lawyer in, you have to actually do a bit of work. I don't know how much PD you have to do. I've seen little bits of, like, Hutch's stream. And I don't know if when when Hutch is doing the charges, like, how much... How much, like, he uh, is actually looking into the charges or just going off what he kind of knows off the top of his head. PD have a lot to do. Loyden, Loyden, though you have you have a proper lot to do, Rosa. Loyden's, <laughs> Loyden's tough. So I was like, look, if you want to be a lawyer, I'd love Emily to be a lawyer, because Emily's one of my favorite people to to um, RP with. Like I think Emily as a Emily as a straight man is like fucking amazing there's a there's quite a few people like on the server like i think rat slayer is a great straight man as well um so many people who like you know like like i would i would say diet was but diet's also got the capability to like go the other way with it which is always fun so you know diet can go both ways Also, also, I'd never like to be accused of calling Diet a straight man. If if I if I started calling Diet a straight man, I'd get uh, cancelled. I think. Um. <laughs> uh, but Emily, Emily's like one of the one of the best, and the idea of like doing Emily's training has like really been like fucking exciting. Like, I don't know how much she's got to do with Henry. But I'm definitely going to, like, work out some nonsense. Also, technically, I'm the boss now. 
I'm the boss of all. all <laughs> like we didn't actually RP. Uh, we didn't actually RP any kind of um, me getting like like I know obviously Lisa got left the paperwork and stuff, but we didn't we didn't RP any kind of like Lisa leaving the paperwork for Ralph or anything. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I think the thing is Ralph would totally fall uh, back in line the instant. That um, Rihanna came back anyway. I've seen the the mayoral elections are coming back up again. Um. And I don't think, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna actually apply this time. Uh, the reason being, I think I've got, I think I've got way too much to do at the moment. I just think the mayoral stuff was gonna be a distraction on top of that. Um, I would really like to get the fame or shame done next month, and I've got some plans for that. Um, we have a bunch of stuff that we're gonna try for that. Um, so it'd be really nice to get like an idea of stuff. I want to kind of give fame or shame a bit of advertising time because I want to give people a chance to think about like think about their talents and and say like look think about what you can do in the construct of a game where you're going to be stuck with a lot of stuff. But that you'll be, you'll be being judged by some people who are very willing to go along with what you are saying, if that makes sense. So, you know, if someone wants to, this is fucking stupid because this would be too far. But if someone wanted to come on stage and say, look, I'm lifting up a car right now. Like that would be, that would probably be too much. But... <laughs> You know, if someone wanted to say, do some kind of magic routine where they made a bear disappear by using the emotes, that would be fun. Someone can steal that. If anyone is in chat was trying to think of a way they can apply for fame or shame, there you go, you can steal that. You may you make a bear disappear. That's actually fucking good. I forgot I had all these seeds in here. Not yet, but maybe someday. Wait, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I, I know there's probably stuff that the mods can do, but yeah, I, I'm quite intrigued to see, like, with giving people a bit of, like, time to, you know, plan stuff, what people can come up with. I think it'd be interesting to see, like, what ideas people have, and then, like, it'd be nice to, to keep things as much of a surprise for both me and the judges as as I can but like anything that anyone needs help with on my side as well I'm happy to like help out with. oh we're supposed to be we haven't seen Ariel yet have we if I just put the stuff back that Ariel wants red passion lily and a shiny amethyst
I think that's why I'm wary as well to have like too many of the <laughs> too many of the mods slash devs or whatever on the on the judging panel because I think it's it's exciting to see like what them with extra abilities could come up with. Buzz, I might have to stop hanging out with you soon. I do need to hang out with Woody for a bit or something. Where's Ariel? There she is. Oh, hello. Right, what do you want? You want a shiny amethyst? <laughs> You'd be more comfortable doing extra. Yeah, I get it. I definitely like. I know, I know the two main people that I wanted on the panel were always um, Jaffa and David, because I think. I think having uh, oh, I just had to come to the having David to see as the you. cool guy makes sense. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Back in yeah. Ariel, what else do you want? Jaffa is definitely. Like, I imagine Susie being the Simon Cowell. I I will be asking, like... <laughs> I will be asking Susie to be mean to everybody. <laughs> and then I feel like you need a nice person. But there's part of me that's really, really tempted. And I've not said this before, but I've thought it a bit. And I don't think it'll happen. But there's part of me that's really, really tempted to, like, message Pip and just be like hey pip <laughs> do you fancy as a one-off just as a complete one-off just making a character and just being a judge on my voting panel because <laughs> i think it would be funny to have like the actual scroobiest pip <laughs> just come in and be pip like the create a character yeah, it'd be, it'd be just funny, like, or, alternatively, <laughs> again, not talked about it to anyone, but have, um, have, like, someone like Lama or Ad come in and play a character who is Pip-like without being Pip. I just think it would be funny as well. But also, it's it's one of those things that I'd be like, oh god, I don't want to, uh, anyone to get um, offended in any way. What did uh, she's at Aquamarine? But look in Goofy's house. But talk to Emmy. Where do we get Aquamarines? Dazzle Beach or the Forest of Valor. So yeah, exactly where we've not been. In fact, let's just uh let's just go Oh well Scar's in his house, so let's go let's go past Scar's house. Any more of this dark wooden So did we finish getting all the dark wood? I think we might have. I just think it would have been a bit of fun to to like have it be like my plan was to like to ask in private and not say anything but I don't think I don't think I'll have the guts to do it anyway to ask the question so there you go that was what the original idea was oh also diet did you want to play high low I totally forgot um, to say hello
we we do have a new logo incoming for high low but it's not quite finished yet what's up guys it's time for another edition of attack say hello welcome to punk to the stage your starting card is a nine dum 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 yeah, I want to get a new overlay for this, which is a bit more like a game show. Lower, it's a three. Three of hearts, three of hearts. Higher than a three. It's a six. It's uh, Ralph Loves Dogging. Ralph Loves Dogging. Higher? It's a queen! Buff doesn't love dogging. Buff doesn't love dogging. It's a false accusation. I remember only a king higher than a queen. Lower? It's the instant win card! Why did they put the cards back up there? Ralph the dog loves dogging. Ralph was so happy to be oh. back today. And now, uh, oh, the cutest video. Let me, uh, I don't know if, again, am I going to have to post this in my Discord and then show it? I I feel lately like I mentioned the Discord so much. <laughs> and I feel like, oh, God, Taff, you really sound like you're just advertising the Discord all the time. And I'm not. I honestly... Fucking, I'm in enough discords. I totally get that. Um, uh, that that people don't want to be in 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 discords. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. You don't have to be in discords. It's fucking. I'm in way too many discords. It does my head in when there's like loads of discords. Ah, uh, but it's when I post a lot of stuff, so I end up talking about it. So I apologize. Um. <laughs> So I'm I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But uh I just posted this look. Just so I can just so I can show it on screen. This was this was the boys when they saw each other today. What's happening here? What's happening? But look at Jack, he's leaning you're, in. You're leaning he just, it. He just wants you. fuss. Are you liking getting kisses from Ralphie? Look at him, he turns around and he goes Ralphie over and he wants more well? kisses. <laughs> He's like, step on me, Ralphie. You two. You two boys. Missed each other, the boys. They love each other. Hello, Tinder. Look at him. <laughs> oh. did, you, did you miss your did you miss your brother? And then he just starts hitting him. I miss you, Ralphie. Have that, Ralphie. Did he say, I miss you, Ralphie, then? I miss you, Ralphie. Have that, Ralphie. I miss you, Ralphie. Have that, Ralphie. I can't tell if he said, I miss you, Ralphie, boy, or he Ralphie. says, have this, Ralphie. Daddy. Yeah? Daddy. 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 Yeah? I thought he was saying daddy there. He's saying Dougie. Because that's a toy from Hey Dougie. Anyway. <laughs> right, Paul. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's another edition of Attack Silo. Paul. Stand card is a jack. It's the jack of hearts. What's build bears? If anyone tells you this is a jack of diamonds, they're lying. It's another jack of hearts. It's not the jack of diamonds. Lower to seven. Tough card, tough card. What do you want to do? Higher or lower than a seven? Higher or lower, higher. You've just been done by Brenda Ballantyne. Ah! These are too high. Ah! You suck. You stink. You've just been Brenda's. <laughs> I prefer Nola to you. Yeah, Dream for summer nightmare for others. I do wonder. 
I haven't talked to Lisa about this, so I know nothing. Now, we know Rihanna is away for a bit. We don't know if Rihanna is going to come back. I was wondering whether, like, we might see Brenda back at some point. Again, I don't know this. I don't know anything. Don't don't anyone assume that I know anything. But might we see Brenda back? Maybe Brenda's dead. Have we got any flowers? Got oh, loads of those ones. Brenda was in that car. <laughs> Imagine if it was Brenda in that car. Uh, if it was if it was Brenda in that car, and um, that would mean that uh, Davy Trout had to punch her teeth out. Right, where's another sunbird? Can I just feed the same one again? No, I've got to feed a different one. Rebecca. I thought about bringing Rebecca back a few times, but so much has been happening with Ralph is that I have not a chance to. Um, I can also probably say now, like, I don't know I don't know if this will happen. Um, possibly shouldn't say. It might still happen. Well, there's the other one. Probably shouldn't say what I was about to say, but uh, there's there's possibly going to be another character I play at some point. But we'll see. I've had discussions about playing another character, possibly only a one-off. We're going back to Scar's cave. Why have I got so much stuff? I'd kind of like to play a crim again. I'd, I, I'd, I'd like to... There's a couple of things I'd like to do. Oh, Scar sings and friends. You want to be a Disney princess? You've got no chance, Les. Disney princesses would pretend to be um, oh, 90s, uh, you. 90s television hosts. <laughs> Is Les considered 90s? Hmm. Oh no, Scar, I don't think I've got any space. Hmm. Gotta unlock Prince Eric. Oh yeah, we should probably do this, shouldn't we? How did you find the French people? They're all right. I mean, people in Disney are generally are supposed to be pretty friendly anyway. Everyone in the airport was well grumpy. But I'm not surprised if I worked in the airport, I'd be grumpy as well. I hate these uh, these boxes because there's no real order for stuff. We still haven't seen Ariel, have we? Well, we've seen Ariel, but we have not, haven't given her the... Oof, wait. Oh, we got a subscription! Oh my god, like that! 
The money goes to charity. It's really cool. Cody, look what I bought. Um, which is going to hang above my desk here. As a as a constant reminder of the of the rats. It's going to hang above here. This is a this is a reminder of my uh my little rat gang. I'll put him there for now. Little Remy, yeah. How did I find flying there? Uh, flying there was all right. We we flew um we flew in and then we got a taxi, um, which I don't think is always the best solution, but. You know, <laughs> we're in a privileged position. We can probably afford to make choices that are sometimes easier for us than um, than other people are always able to make. So, yeah. Fucking privileged. Right. Gotta go and see fucking Ariel. Go see Ariel. Are the Tory taxi? No. Look, I've been quite open that um, throughout the years, we've been advised by financial people several times that the most beneficial thing for us would be to vote for the Conservative Party. I've said that on numerous occasions, but like I've also said that there's absolutely no chance of, uh, of that ever happening. Right. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Uh no, they weren't they weren't saying it in a bad way. I'll I'll say I'll say this for them. They were just we were just talking about stuff and they said um we were talking about the election that was coming up and they were like um they were like, Look, it would be most advantageous for you to to do this and we were like Pfft. Ray, hello I think my I think my pal Ruby should have um, messaged you she said she was going to anyway but i i hope she does i gotta talk to mickey when i saw cook meals with basil then i got really really excited that it was going to be about basil uh from the great mass detective This ends in four days. <laughs> I haven't even done the first level. Ah, oh, no. Uh, let's take that. Yeah, Basil the Great Master's Head is way top tier, isn't it? Okay. There's Mickey. That's another one. Right, collect star coins, sell onions. I probably have 40 onions at home. I could probably just go and buy 40 onions and, and then sell them straight back. I have 26 onions. Where sells onions? I think... I think onions is an early thing, isn't it? Right, we've got to find Ariel. Ursula's up there. Did I miss Ariel while I was going around then? Oh, she's there. And we've got to go to Goofy's house, so let's do that. Jesus, Goofy, were you trying to catch Ariel? Chili pepper puffs. Uh, 
and that. Let's talk to Wally. Bring the blue fur to Donald. Blue fur! You can just keep dropping and picking up one flower and it counts? Really? That's amazing. Wait, if anyone knows off the top of their head which store sells onions. Donald's in there. Hey, Maui. Yeah, I know they could tell me the area diet. I just didn't want to. Just didn't want to. Just go and. Oh, you know what would be great today? Some warm, comforting ratatouille. I just thought if someone knew it off the top of their head, diet, right? It's space alien fur. It says DNA match, 66%. Keep my eye out for any more clues. Bonjour, Remy. Let's just have a chat with you just so I can just get this out. Let's just make the thing that Donald wants. Why not? I also need to buy a load of this stuff. Can we buy like 40? Yeah. Yes. Remy's absolutely loving selling me all this shit. All right, chill out, Remy. I mean, really, you should be doing me a deal yes. here. Yeah. But yeah, I was. I was saying before though, it was like, it was weird, like Gusto said, being anyone can cook. being there and like, of course, it helps if I having all our pals there, but not being able to like necessarily. Like hang out with the pals as much as we'd like, but I think that's inevitable when you've got a kid. I think it was nice as well though to like have the pals be there to see me being the dad, because I don't think you know people get to see the dad side as much. Uh, Wally. Why are you hashtagging BB affiliate there, Cody? In fact, I uh, I did an order. What have I spelled it wrong in the title? We did a we did an order. They sent me some samples. By the way, I keep the samples aside, and if anyone ever wants, uh, if anyone ever asks for uh, bad uh, stickers, which obviously... Ah, we'll get one of our little sticker packs out. If anyone ever wants a pack of Big Taft Man stickers, you actually get more stickers than is in this little pack now. 
you get like a bunch more just send me your address in a dm uh if you're a sub or have been a sub at any point i will send you a pack of stickers you get a little you rock a little you suck which you can't see because it's green uh a a ralph with the tongue out a ralph uh a logo and then a holographic and a uh glitter version of the logo and you also get now a bunch of other ones you get a dab in ralph oh there's one you get a notebook ralph this uh glittery you get a dab in ralph if you ever want stickers and what i'll do when i send the stickers is if i've got some of these around i chuck those in the envelope as well if you if you were a sub or have been a sub at any point and you want some stickers just send me a dm i i need a proper like advert thing to kick off which i keep meaning to film um but we'll do that at some point but if you want stickers um and you haven't had stickers then let me know um these are the teas i bought recently uh smoky shipwreck evoking images of smoky foggy shores this smoky blend with whiskey and spice flavors it's a roy boss rubios roy boss i don't never know how to say that um but th these were like some special edition teas that they'd done in collaboration with people this does look like one of the packs that has got the bat their dodgy labels on does it no oh that smells really interesting that smells proper sp smoky i haven't actually got a tea of the day today and um, it'll be whatever it was last time uh this is a candlelit library which was done with ruby granger uh this is a black tea uh which just says there's nothing better than a good book maybe a good book and a strong cup of tea so i guess like a just a strong cup of tea flavor and then uh this one was one i saw they did because this this was what i went on the website the other day and i was like oh shit they've got a load of teas that i've not even seen before uh this one is shimmer which comes in a box i've never seen them do one in a box before um but apparently there's the tea apparently the tea gives off a like shimmer it's got some glitter inside it it was a collaboration between burdham len and tate and was uh was created to celebrate the summer exhibition program it's a um it's a cherry and hibiscus tea so that that sounds really my bag can you recommend a tea for someone who's not drank tea before depends what you want do you want like a fruity tea or do you want just a a more standard tea when you say you've not drunk tea before do you mean you've never drunk a cup of tea at all you've never drunk like any kind of um uh you've not even drunk like a cup of breakfast tea or anything like that i also bought two two of these brudinis uh which these are really cool um that should that should work cody i think it's uh i think it might be slightly different let me see i've got the is it tea match there you go uh find suits which tea suits you best on the bird and blend website so if you go through that link you can actually see so this is really cool i'll show you how this works right so this is the brudini it's just hard to see there uh but let's see we've got a cup on the desk somewhere let me grab a cup So the cool thing about this um you have the t2 version of this yeah it actually feels like i had the t2 version as well uh this actually feels like a bit better made um the lid feels a bit better and stuff what i will say is i've seen a lot of people have issues with this so don't necessarily believe me i'm drinking an energy drink right now i'm going to pour that in there um just to show you so what you would do with this is you would you would brew your cup of tea uh and you would make your cup of tea like you normally make it you would let it all brew in here and then what you do is you actually put it on top of your cup and it will actually drain into your cup 
and it means that you don't get any of the like tea leaves or anything in there so that's all just drained through now i take that off and then i can pop that to the side and uh yeah and it's got um oh god i had another tea day on the downs uh it's a fruity tea with uh, wild strawberry, sorrel, and mint. So yeah, you put it on, on top of your thing, and then that drains through. And there you go. But uh, it filters it, so you don't get any of the, the tea leaves and stuff come through. But yeah. The tea you want to try is sold out completely. What one is it, Ray? If I've got some... <laughs> if i've got some and uh and i can if ever if ever there's a tea that anyone wants to try and they they can't see it on the website so i i actually was meant to <laughs> these these were some teas that um i bagged up for a friend and then i forgot to take them with me <laughs> and I, I wouldn't necessarily always do as big bags as these because these look like very dodgy. These look like I've been doing some uh, business. Uh, but if there's ever a tea that I've got that you want to try, like I would be willing to send you enough. I'd probably stick it in proper like little bags. But that was because I was in a rush and I was going to see a friend and I packed that all up and then forgot to take the bags with me. So that was good. Oh no, I did actually take the bags. I just forgot to give them to them. Wow. Oh my God, Taff, look, look, Kaden, look, thank look, you. Look, look, this person just subbed. Do you know, we're, we're hitting like some of the highest like subscriber figures that we've hit in ages. I really fucking appreciate that. Like the amount of people who come out and support it lately. And we've got like so much coming up. Um, Recommends mermaid matcha and ice cream matcha for me. See, I'm not a massive matcha drinker because I find it a fussy tea to make. Um, but the matcha, when done properly, like, I'm not normally a fan of matcha tea, but the bird and blend matcha stuff with the flavors, some of them are really, really nice. And I have got some. It's just it's a fuss because you've got a whiskey. Yeah, the, they do like a, a, a little taster tube. I think it's like... It's maybe like 20 quid or something, but it's like loads of different like flavors of matcha. I fucking don't even know. Where's the link? Let's go have a look. Uh, matcha sample kits. Yeah, so they do like these mix and matcha or the faves matcha, which faves is sold out at the moment. But yeah, that the faves matcha has actually got the the mermaid matcha and the ice cream matcha in there. So it's a pity that's sold out because that would be ideal. Did my little one have a favorite ride? He didn't really like the rides this time. Uh, see that this matcha starter kit is good because it comes with the whisk and stuff, and it comes with the spoon because you need less than you would for normal tea um but you're supposed to use a bamboo whisk and stuff like that that's why i can't be bothered with matcha it's a fuss but um in if you ever go to one of the shops they do some matcha lattes and they're amazing but again fucking I can't it's uh, too much fuss the only ride that you really was all right with was the um The whisk is at Remy's house. Spinning top is at Donald's house. Gramophone is Minnie's house. Okay, this is easy. You never made matcha that way? I think that's kind of the proper way to make matcha. So, fun story, Cody. She might tell me off for saying this. Um... But like, 
Phoebe ordered a tea at one point while we were sat with her. And um, they brought her a teapot and a little packet. Wow, and she was really like, Taff, nice. you're going to have to tell me what to do. I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was like, have you never, have you never had a teapot before, Phoebes? And she's like, I, well, I don't know what's in there. And I, I like, I was like, well, there's just a tea bag in that packet. And, you know, you're just going to, you're just going to put that, you know. <laughs> but, I, you know, obviously, I love Phoebes. I was like, oh, Phoebes, you don't know what to do. So sweet. Spinning top at Donald's house. I can't believe how many new friends I've Didn't know how to fill a kettle. Yeah. The lack of vinegar in Mr. Toad's fish and chip shop. Are you are you just doing research on Disney now, Les? Wait, where am I what am I looking for here? Spinning top. But yeah, I had to tell her like you uh you pop it in there and then uh you you just leave it to brew for a bit. It's just like doing it in a, in a thing. But she thought there were going to be leaves in there. She's like, I don't know what to do with leaves. And I was like, yeah, you just, uh, you know, it's no different. You just uh, put it in there and just leave it for a bit. If there were leaves, you just have a drainer. Put a hot water bottle of water back in the kettle. Oh, God. Can you imagine finding that out later? Uh, Remy's house is this one, isn't it? Think you're gonna love your cup of tea and it's just pure rubber? I know, right? It's just got that smell as well, hasn't it? Oh god, that's actually really fucking <laughs> that's Ah, <it. laughs> oh, Ray. Right, where are you, Ariel? Why'd you, why'd you, why have you gone up there? By the way, Ray, I have to admit, I, I know I recommended um, you for a moat to Ruby. Uh, but Ruby had to message me and was like, oh... Who did you recommend for emotes? Because um, because I uh, I had to delete the tweet because the bots got hold of it, and I was like, oh, it was Ray. Like, here's a Twitter and stuff. You know, you can you can contact her here, and um, here's some examples of her emotes that she's done before. And then I was like, oh wait, <laughs> this isn't Ray's emotes. <laughs> this is Amy J's emotes. I'd sent her a picture of stuff Amy J had done. And I was like, oh no! I was like, Amy's also good, but like... <laughs> I was like, oh no, I fucked up! So I felt really bad then. It was literally while we were on the plane. The grand phone is broken. She wants a fucking fancy crafting station. But I did send her um, a link to your uh, tweet where you put about um, you were opening commissions again soon. So I did actually send your stuff. And I said, I, I think that your style and stuff like um, would really match like Ruby. So I don't know if she'll get in touch and stuff. But yeah. Also, uh, no docks in me, Ray. <laughs> I docks myself enough. Yeah, 
if if I was Ray, the the first thing I'd be doing every time someone meets me up there is I'd be going looking at their street on the street view. Google Street View, load load it up, look at their house on the street. Have a look. Oh, that's the street they live on, is it? Oh god, then then I take a little walk down the street using Google Google Maps and I go, Oh, I wonder where they'd go to do to do their like little little bit of shopping. I'd have a look for supermarkets in the local area. Start looking those up. I'd start to live their life through, the, through looking at their address. <laughs> wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. And I don't think Ray would either. Just DM me and I said... Oh my god. Onions. No. Onions. Howdy. Wait, do you know which one is my o do you know which one is my order, Ray? I ordered um one of each of the Limmy prints and um and a key ring. A uh, badge. Badge, sorry. Hi there, pal. So that's my order. So we're going to buy those 20 onions and then we're going to sell him back the 20 onions. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, um... Let me uh let me pull up Ray's store if anyone wants to check it out. There you go. If you want to go and check out Ray's stuff. I always think it's uh I always think it's cool to support like artistic friends anyway. So go check out Ray's stuff and enjoy. If you don't enjoy there'll be fucking trouble. Why not? Instead Oh Caden, if you would like to play high low, let me know. The potion beanie, right? This is why I was like, oh, I think I think Ray style would be um, in fitting with uh, Ruby. Let's do it. What's up, guys? It's time for another edition of a tap. So nearly spotlighted Lisa instead. Hi, hello, Caden. The instant win card is gone today. It's a six. Been on Etsy Rampage, my bank account is begging, right? Wait. Now, I showed a four then, but it actually was meant to be this card. <laughs> Fuck. You were going to be fucked either way there, Caden. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Caden. I'm so sorry. You suck. You suck. I always you tend suck. to have, like, a lot of pin badges in my Etsy, um, in my Etsy folder. 
like the stuff that I want to look at. There's no need to say his mum was a hoe. Crowd. Oh, was that the last thing that we needed for Ursula as well? Wait, where's Ursula? Where's Ursula? She's in the Glade of Trust. Do you know, I would really like to have a, a jacket with patches on, and I don't, I don't think I can pull it off. I don't think I can pull off a jacket with patches on. Wait, I can hear you. Where are you? Where is she? Oh no, it was that was Mother Gothel. She's over here. Oh, it's you. Fabulous. I thought I got you the ingredients. Oh, have I got it left them in my Oh, we've got to craft it. We got craft for thingy as well, so. Backpack patches? Yeah, but I don't ever wear a backpack. Phoebe is wearing a um, a jacket that she put loads of badges on, and I'm always fussy about putting badges on stuff as well. I need three aquamarines. Well, make sure make sure you go through the link, Rosa. <laughs> make sure you you go through the link to get my sweet sweet ten percent. That's how much I get, guys. Yeah, I get ten percent of the order, and it all goes to charity when when I get a payout. And I have my payout limit set to eighty quid, so I don't get a payout until I hit that figure. And then it all goes to charity. So to be honest, I don't really care if you use the the link that much. It's not like it benefits me personally. Yeah, if you followed the link to the team matching thing, it should track you through your the process there. Um, so you should all be fine. If you're not, don't worry about it. I honestly, I'm only joking. I'm only teasing. It would be okay. <laughs> It'd be okay if you didn't. Honestly, genuinely, like the only reason I like work with Bird and Blend. Can I tell before checkout what you can do? Um. If you're really worried about it, I think, and I don't know 100% sure on this, because you know it's fucking websites and bollocks like that. But what you could do is pull all your stuff in your basket and then uh, use the link again, which you can just use that one. And then, you know, hopefully that, you know, double double checks that it's picked up. But it, it should track you from the moment you visit the website through. But honestly, honestly, don't worry if you don't. I won't be, I won't be offended or upset or anything. A little bit. Are we at 10 with Buzz yet? Well, I won't be offended at all. A little bit offended. <laughs> I honestly won't be. <laughs> Stop making jokes about stuff, Tab. Honestly, I won't be bothered if you decide that you don't want to support the channel. <laughs> if you do. <laughs> uh, 
Um, we are going to be doing a big charity stream next month for um for uh special effect um we talked a little bit about special effect i'm going to be asking some people um when you get banned free you'll know it's not a joke ban exactly that's why i don't have joke bans so people know that when they get banned it's because i genuinely dislike them boom boom Oh, I'm going to have to look up where aquamarines are again. Forest of Vallow, Dazzle Beach. So go over here. The gay boba teas. Yeah, that's another thing that I loved on uh, Ray's thing. Cute said badge sign. See, I'm I'm always worried because like um I never want people to think like I I love to wear rainbow things anyway, because I like to wear colourful things anyway. But I always like to um I always like to uh like buy like when we were at disney there was a black coat i really liked but there was also a a yellow coat that i really liked and i actually liked the black coat more but um it only came in black and i was like i was like i'm gonna buy the yellow one because i just like you know colorful coats more i probably wouldn't wear a black one as much but i always like i'm worried that like people think that i'm um like appropriating the rainbow if i was to you know wear rainbow stuff consistently but i just like to you know also show my support not at all because like there was a time when i uh there was an apple watch strap which was like rainbow and i was like you know i understand what it's for um I also really like it as a strap, but I didn't, wouldn't want anyone to think, oh, you know, he's only wearing that because of this. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it was like it was like important to me. We did we did buy um, we did buy Jack a uh, we did buy Jack a um, uh, we did buy Jack a rainbow badge because he's he's obsessed with badges at the moment. So he really loved seeing Phoebe's badges on her top all the time. Which I think was a good in for Phoebe every time with him to talk to him. Uh, he still had three aquamarines. Fuck. Okay, let's go to Dazzle Beach. But we could go to Toy Story Realm and go to Wally's. Let's go to the Toy Story and Wally's. But it was a good in for Phoebe to talk to him because he really liked seeing her badges. And obviously she had Kermit. And I said to her at one point, I was like, uh, Phoebe... Phoebe takes Kermit with her on holiday. Let's go and put some stuff back, actually. And I said to Phoebe, "I'm I, there's part of me that really wants Jack to get a hold of Kermit at some point, because I'd love to see you trying to get Kermit back. And I'd be like, yeah, I refuse to help, Phoebe, so you're getting him yourself. If you want Kermit back, then you have to tell my son that you want Kermit. <laughs> See Phoebe struggle to get uh, a toy off a child. But he, he didn't get his hands on it. Oh, come on. You know, you know Jack would outwit Phoebe. When we were at the airport, um, he's like, he's going to be so clever. Like, it's really annoying. Because at one point, he like 
we got to the airport and I was waiting for the baggage. Like I could see our thing was coming up. And I'm stood there waiting and all of a sudden I hear from behind me, Daddy, what are you doing? <laughs> just like really loud. And like me and Rach just looked at each other like, he's never said anything like that before. But like, yeah. He prop he proper shouted it and like loads of people turned round and laughed at him as well. It's like your little shit bag. Right, where's Ursula? Why did you Ursula always go Right, we'll go round to Ursula. But just like the little shout of, Daddy, what are you doing? So funny. But we've got to, we've got to try the next, uh, like today, Rach is trying to get him back onto his normal schedule because he woke up at like, he's, he's woke up a few times in the middle of the night while we've been away. Because I think his schedule's gone all over the place. And, um, and I haven't really helped. Was it his first time as an airport? No, he's. We went to Disney. Um, we went to Disney last year. So he's been to he's been to France, but this is the first time he's a bit more aware of it. Like I think last time he just like basically he fell asleep and was asleep for pretty much the whole flight. This time we had to kind of keep him entertained and stuff. Yeah, and I think that was the the more awareness was part of the thing of like. It being a bit more difficult this time because like because he's more aware of stuff like he's more aware now of what he likes and he doesn't like and he's more vocal about what he likes and doesn't like which obviously made like rides and stuff a bit of a nightmare but as i could really do with you going to like full level as well what's that Uh, he's learnt about no, but he's very, like, he's very commanding with no. Um, like, it's very much a tantrum. He, do, he can't just say no. He's got to, like, properly, like, and we're trying to, we're trying to show him that, like, like, if I say to him, you know, do, do you want to do this? He'll go, no, and, like, go into a full meltdown. And it's like, I just say to him, like, just say no, Jack. Just say no. It's okay. You don't have to do that. But instead, it's full-on meltdown. I have no... Is this... Is this that's got to be Monsters, Inc., right? That's got to be Sully there. Yeah, there you go. Les, I thought you were in your, like, 50s. Wait, are you telling me you're not the real Les Dennis? So much you have to learn about me. So much I don't want to know. Right, Ursula, are you still up here? Yes. Let's go speak to her before she fucking runs off again. Has she gone? Are you shitting me, Ursula? Where's she gone? Where's she gone? The meadow?
Right, we've got to check for aquamarines. Unbelievable. But yeah, there was a few times on holiday, Jack would wake up at like three o'clock in the morning. And there was one night I got told off by Rach because he woke up at three in the morning and um, <laughs> We had like separate beds because of the way the the room worked out, and uh, and so I I got up and brought him into my bed, and uh, then Rach could like Rach said I could just hear from my bed you just going stop tickling and and just like playing with him, and so she came over and told us off and like took Jack into her bed. It's like okay, just it's not my fault. Yeah, lads, lads, lads causing trouble. Just having a bit of a, you know, up to a bit of mischief. Have I not got any food? Didn't I have those crackers? Yeah. That's a bloody shiny aquamarine, isn't it? Wait, isn't there a bush here? Yeah. But you know, when when you're having a bit of bit of a uh, bit of a joke and stuff, it's so funny, the kid. Like, I, I'm totally fine with anyone, you know, who doesn't want kids and stuff. That's fine. But I've always wanted to be a dad one day. And, like, it's really been, like, really nice to, like, live my best life with uh, that little shitbag. Because he is a shitbag sometimes. I do think as well, um, like, we've obviously... We've got the optional fitness Hello. section of the Discord, uh, which you can gain access to. Um, some of the pictures that we've taken on holiday, they have really made me think about like the way that I look. The mystical cave on the beach. Wait, which one? Like, there's a picture that Rach put on her Instagram of, um, probably most people have not seen this. Let me, let me, uh, let me show. Uh, Rach put this picture up. And I, I think, just like, I just look so grumpy in this picture as well. I was so tired and I leant against this wall. And then Jack came over and stood near me and leant against the wall as well. But I just look, I, just, I look so big there. Like, I I know I've been talking about losing weight and stuff for a while. So, you know, this is, again, another Kickstarter of reminding. Like, you know, I just look so... But yeah, this was so cute because, like, Jack... I, I was leaning against this wall because I was like, I'm just knackered. And then Jack just came over and started leaning against the wall too. He's such a cutie. Not the most flattering pose. Yeah, I know, but you know. Uh, where's the flower? the album drop in i know rach was like album cover and i thought she meant like 
thought she meant just Jack. Eh? Wait, I didn't see what happened. Because we got stuck inside a wall. Right, you're up there now, Whistler. Oh, God. My, my mouth suddenly started hurting. I saw that. She just sunk and went somewhere else. She's gone over here. Hello, dear. Yeah. Right, so Ursula's gonna think about what's next. We need to just keep doing we'll have another run of checking for aquamarines. It's a pity there's not a way to, to change the shiny ones into normal aquamarines. That reminds me, I need to take my vitamin D now that I'm back on holiday. I should bring one of my mining pals out. I could have bought multiple ones then. I suppose they don't tell you the ingredients on this one. But yeah, I might might film a little thing for Quiet City later and hopefully have that for tomorrow's stream. I don't know what we're going to be doing on Quiet City for the next bit. Um, hang out with Moana for an hour. We need to sell 20 onions. I just leave the game on with, with Moana later. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to my my mouth. My my mouth has suddenly gone really sore. No, I was just drinking the um the uh the energy drink. Do we just need two more? One more aquamarine. Okay, let's go to the Toy Story realm. Oh my arms are so sore. My arms and legs, I might have to book in for a... I was going to book in for a massage tomorrow. Because um, I'm so fucking sore. Like, carrying Jack has been so difficult. Like, on the last day, there were bits where, like, he would consistently come up to me and just shout, Carry me, Daddy. And I'm just like, fuck, I really can't. Like, I love you, kid, but I can't carry you right now. My legs as well, because like it's the most walking I've done in like in like ages as well. Didn't it need? Do you think my collection's going to?
Yeah, that doesn't shock me. They they're so heavy and they're so like the amount that you carry them. Jesus, like <laughs> like I love the kid, but fucking hell. Wait, do I need to read that? No. Shells. I think I can sell most of the other things I'm carrying. I'm not going to sell everything else that I'm carrying. Put this red algae in there. Because I don't want to accidentally do anything with that. Uh, right, let's go to... We only need one more of those aquamillions, but we're going to go and do the Toy Story and the Wally quest a sec. Although I do really want to do aerials, because I want to get rid of... We're going to potentially have Prince Eric coming in. Let's do this. So I think Buzz will like this. No? Buzz doesn't like this. You don't like any of this, Buzz? I can help Buzz. It is like it's so heavy though. I don't know if it's the best idea to be sound this, but we we just cleared our inventory. There's only these two places for aquamarines, I think, so... I like that we've uh, completed all the... Uh, all the uh, gardening stuff that you can get as well. Because we've done so much of the... the gardening. There's a Prince Eric statue. I'd... Genuinely don't know when we unlock Prince Eric. Ooh. 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 Yes. Yes. I wonder where we're going to have to put it. Is it going to say I don't have the stuff now? This is why you collect stuff and never sell anything. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Everything's still covered in snow. There's still snow here. When we got back, um, Jack got all excited and um <laughs> it wouldn't actually come in the house because he wanted to stand in the snow are you kidding me she's gone to that pond over there oh i just had to come to the surface to see you you did it 
gonna get to friendship level 10 next. Okay, so Woody and Buzz. So what we at with we're at seven with her. And we're at eight with her. And we've given them both all the presents that we can today. We're at nine with Buzz. So we should get to 10 with Buzz soon. I've seen Diet, see, and Diet just uh, farms a lot of wheat. But, uh, you know, I like to farm proper stuff. There you go. You can you can go see for yourself. Hmm. Diet punk uh, mm -hmm. farming wheat because the wheat only takes a minute to grow. So doing that over and over again just to grind the game. Diet punk's the kind of gamer that if they were to play GTA and there was a taxi job that they could um, they could farm by just driving the taxi around the whole time, they would do that. Where's the wall E realm? Right, two E. This wall E? Thanks, Minotaur. We have to wear the ears today. Craft the fuse box. Right, okay, we've done enough there. So we can go to the Toy Story one now. I think we might finish today a little bit earlier than we normally finish. Just because I'm not feeling 100% today. Um, You know, it's been nice to play a bit of Disney and talk about stuff. What did I come here for? Gather the buzz light you're playing cards hidden around the room. What do they look like? Good to have you back. It's good to be back. You know, this is my job. This is what I do. Hidden in the books. He says hidden in the books. Didn't read that it says hidden in the books. Right, where's the last one? Can't go in there, so it's not one of those. Turn to Buzz. Wait, we are with Buzz. Wait, where's Buzz? Did Buzz not come with us? I think I've just gone straight back in. I am actually going to take the ears off, actually. Ah!
There's Buzz. Come on, Buzz. Step away from the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonder how now Buzz Light is. Merlin would have paper. Okay. Merlin, Donald, and Mickey's houses. God, I really feel like that those ears were digging into my head a little bit. Right, clay is going to take us ages. We can craft the fuse box. Donald, Mickey, and Merlin's houses. So Merlin, Donald's is here. Um, Mickey's is here. Those are still not grown. Merlin, and, and if we do Merlin, and then we do Donald, and then we're going to have to do crafting. So we'll do crafting, and then we'll come back, and uh, we'll make the two things. I feel like I'm sat facing this way, but I'm turning this way. There's the lack of sleep. Could like have a lovely nap. If I finish the stream an hour early, I could not tell Rach. Go and have a quick, like, sneaky one hour nap. That would be it. That would be good, wouldn't it? Sneaky hour long nap without her knowing. No, she's looking after Jack. I gotta, I go back. To it. She's looking after Jack. I can't leave her there. Uh, da da da. Fuse box. One of those. Buzz Lightyear leaflet. Three of those. Donald, you know, you do look yes. looking after. Maui and Donald are both heroes? Why do you have to bring it to Ursula, though? Ursula's a pain in the ass. Maui's over there. Right. How you doing, wasps? I do enjoy that I can't... I, whenever I mention Jack now, I'm always conscious that what if wasps turns up? And makes this about him. Because Wasps has got such an ego on him. Hey, Did they have a lovely holiday? So it was it was unusual. <laughs> Just kidding. Um it's it's one of those where it was it was very stressful. Um kind of had a good time, but also like you know, going away with a kid. And she just left again. Why does she do this every fucking time? Where's she gone? Hey, 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 down well, here. We'll Who talk to we'll talk to Woody first. Oh, fuck off. Along, partner. Wait. Ursula. Have that. She's not impressed. Hello, dear. Oh. Why does she hate um Why does she hate Buzz? Why are you still here? Is Donald still in the cafe? He is. Like my gaming experience in Dreamlight Valley. Well, definitely. Like my experience in 
knowing, like, I can show you my notes app on my phone. And there were some big notes in there for for planning, like, where we were going at certain times, what we were doing. I was, I was making sure that I was aware at all times at which characters would be round. There you go. Told everyone about Buzz. That didn't get into level 10. And now we've got to go to the carousel for Woody. Man, getting another 70 clay is going to be a nightmare. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's fucked it. It's fucked it, Woody. You've absolutely fucked it there. Have you got another mission? Wait, where's... Where's Woody gone? I thought Woody was coming inside. Am I not seeing Woody, or did Woody not come in? Hey there, deputy. I've got a job for you. Do they have Toy Story Mania? No. The only Toy Story ride... Well, they have a couple of Toy Story rides. They have Buzz's... Oh, boy, um, am I glad to see you. That's great. They have Buzz's uh, ride. And then they have a kind of pirate ship uh, version of the um, where you're on the remote control car. They have a uh, they have a like little green men version of like the kind of parachute going up and down, and they have the Slinky Dog ride. I think that's all the Toy Story rides. Woody is standing in the worst fucking position here. Here you go, Woody. Fix your stupid thing. Thanks for stopping by. Great job. Go to the river in the forest of valor. Which one is the forest of valor? This way. It's this one up here, isn't it? Wasps, I was really confused with them. Um, well, what happened with you? Like, uh, I, I was really confused to see that you were, like, on a Discord call with Conan. What was that about? Where, Where is the story of this so that I can read up about it? Because I was like, wait there, why is this happening? <laughs> Dig along the banks. For his podcast, <gasps> huh? 
to go talk to Daddy Scar. What was it? What was? What was it about? What was? Uh... Did you plug the Twitch channel? I hope you plugged the Twitch. Did you talk about Simon? <laughs> also, Conan, I'd just like to, to tell you about a book I read recently by Simon Nomis. Uh, it's one of the best books I've ever read. You plugged your charity? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for stewardess. Just who I was hoping to speak. I hate people who do charity stuff. Uh. I find some people do charity stuff and they go on about it all the time. Like they'll go, oh, by the way, every single penny I make on stream goes to charity. Oh, do this, charity, charity this, charity that. Suck of it. It's only 20 minutes. How long do they cut it down to? Or do they leave it unedited? I'm going to do this mission, guys, and then I think I'm going to have to finish. I would love to um, do a period of time where we donate every everything we make on stream to the charity the wasps work for. Um, I've had in plan, I've had the last few months like all planned out, but I've been wanting to do that at some point. But at some point, we will try and do that. Is that the two dishes that we needed? Because if so, that's amazing. No, I will do at some point. It's just, um, I knew the... Over Christmas, I wanted to do fair share again. I knew that for the next period, I wanted to do special effect because uh, we're going to be doing the special stream at the end of February. And then I want to do... Um, I'm speaking to... Uh, my nan passed away last year yeah, and she used to sing in a choir and apparently the choir is looking for funding. So her birthday is in March. So I think... Uh -huh. I'm looking at whether they have a page which I can donate to. So I need to work out that. You and hopefully we'll do that for March. Saw. But then, like, after that, that's probably when I was looking at it was. But I'll be in touch with you when it gets closer to that page. Oh, wait. Were they fighting something else? Look, there's someone... There's someone fishing talk to buzz so the river in sunlight plateau would it within sunlight plateau right scar was in star command Look at these fish.
Caught an old fishing rod. May as well do some fishing while we're here. I never fish in this game. I don't particularly love the fishing. Getting out to open my inventory. It was goofy. Gone scar. This will actually be quite nice timing here because we potentially could get um, a scar. Never use fast travel? I do, but not often. I've used it a bit today. I just didn't, don't think it's ever that far. You and I, will we really lovers? <laughs> this is caught. You were following me around like a needy hyena. Remember that day? We had fun, didn't we? We had joy, we had fun. We had seasons in the sun. Ah. Sometimes life's not fair. You'd best remember that. Giving others a chance to be better. Uh -huh. You need time to process this. That's cool, Buzz. But. I could really do with some of your crops finishing because then Woody to level 7 if we get Buzz to level 10 we're going to unlock that I don't think there's much else we can do I'm just going to have to like get those friendship levels up off stream I don't know how much long these have got to grow. I could plant some things, I guess. I forget how you get clay. It's like digging up in a certain area, isn't it? I just want clay to appear in the shop. I can't be bothered to buy clay, to like farm clay every day. Clay to trust. I read a thing about like a shortcut to getting clay, but it never worked for me. Like where they said you could it you could uh, put an item over a patch that you dig up and then just that seventy odd clay is such a lot of clay. Oh, what a perfect day. If we could just get Buzz up to level ten.
Is there any shortcuts to get in clay? It's just it's such a fucking lot of clay. I bet there's a lot of websites where they're like, oh, here's how to get a lot of clay. More near Scar's place. It's just such a lot of clay. just go and pack loads of wheat. It could just be a real diet punk about this. <laughs> I'm using diet punk as a verb now. We could just go and diet punk the whole shit out of it. Uh, we will be back on probably Dave the Diver next weekend. Uh, didn't really want to play it today because uh, I've been to Disney, so I felt right to play to play this today. We will be back on it. I don't know how far Ad is on. I know Ad's played it a little bit um, while we've been away. How far are you in, Rosa? I know last time I saw Ad stream a bit, I don't think Ad was as far, not that much further than you last saw. You've been to the village. I mean, I looked through when I when I originally picked it up. Um, I thought Ad had said on stream. That it took like eight hours to complete and then when i looked it up on how long does it take to beat i think it's says 17 hours but like i'm quite i think like like me and i played games in a very different way so i think this scale in you know being able to watch both of the ways we play the game. I don't really want to get too far ahead of ads because like ads was playing it first. Uh the whole reason I started streaming it was because I genuinely like think that as a game it's like such a such a tick the box for everything that I love about a game. Uh it's genuinely like one of my one of those games that I think I will I will play myself a lot. How far are you off? You, you can't be off, far off, do you? I think I think it's a game that I I think like with Raft like I had I played through Raft so many times before it came out of uh, early access. Well, it wasn't even really early access, was it? It was just that they hadn't released the full the full might of the game. I am uh, I am genuinely not feeling 100% here though, pals. I, I think uh, we, we're going to try and get Buzz up to level 10 here. And then uh, as soon as I get Buzz up, I think we might, uh, might call it it. Because I'm feeling a bit like, I don't know what it is. I just, just yesterday I was feeling this as well. I was kind of sick in my stomach. Um, I wasn't actually sick at any point, but like, you know, when you've got that uneasy feeling in the back of your throat. And you know, as always with streaming, do what's best for the streamer. 
for the Disney flu. Maybe. There you go, level 10. I don't think I've got the Disney flu. Right, uh, where's Woody? So we'll talk to Buzz. Come over here, Buzz. So he wants to speak to Ursula. How are you doing, Buffy? Though? You might have caught us at at the end. I think I think what I'll do before I go is we might just have a look at the pictures. Um, the pictures that I posted. Just have a have a little look through. I'm so sorry, Taff. I'm so sorry. Got a dab. Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen a burst of messages. That's okay. Yeah, I just um the last couple of days I think I think also like the, the food that you eat in Disney like doesn't help. Cause your diet goes all over the place. It was it was really nice to to hang out with pals, and like I th I think it's that weird thing of Ooh, we've got a subscription. Thank you, Plague. Twenty two months, Jesus. Plague, if you would like to play high low, we can do it uh, before we finish, or you can force static to play like you often do. Yeah, there you go. I knew that was coming. <laughs> we'll try and get that in before we finish. I'm just going to plant all this stuff. I'm going to plant this remainder of stuff, water it, and then I think we're done for the day. I think we'll call it. We had to finish up four anyway, so we're not finishing too early. So I'll do this static, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll do your game, and then we'll finish for the day. A reminder: all all proceeds uh, from subs, gift subs. Oh, it just started raining. I was like, what the fuck happened then? Uh, they're all going to go to uh, our fundraiser, which is currently for um, Game Blast. Game Blast is an amazing charity. If you've never heard of the stuff the special effects do, we're probably going to have a little advert that's going to run on the streams occasionally, um, which I'm going to try and make this week as well. Uh, Game Blast is a big thing that happens at the end of February. It's 24th to the 26th of Feb. And we're going to try and do some stuff around that um, to kind of promote it. Uh, what do we have for the Stitch Quest? Can't do anything else there today. No, we've, we've raised close to 15 grand for charity, which I think is fucking cool. I'd love to hit the 15 grand mark this year. I think I think we will because we're not that far from it. But it'd be amazing to like think, fuck, we've we've hit 15 grand for charity. That's awesome. Look at all these festive fish. They 
had a special fist of fish in the bastards. Oh man, there's no chance of me getting like the completionist badges for this. Uh right. None of these are gonna pop now. We have had the instant win badge today. So static you will not be getting an instant win sniper. What's up guys and welcome to another edition of Attacks! High or low? Ace is the lowest card in the deck, so higher for you. That's an eight. Davey kisses fish. Bam, 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 bam. You screwed it. You screwed it. You screwed it, Stag. You screwed it. What a waste. <laughs> What a waste. You suck. What a you waste, suck. Plague. The worst. He's let you down. He's let me down. He's let I all of us down. Yeah, you suck that bad. Um. Go back home. Right. Ooh, shit. Who should we raid over to today? Oh, your mum's a home. We got we got some choices oh. with uh with the raid today. Um. We're going to give a shout out to Jeb. Because I think. I think uh, this would be a very different vibe to go watch uh, Football Manager. So we're probably not going to raid over to Jeb. But if you want to go see Jeb playing Football Manager, he's playing Football Manager right now. Thank you to the mods who are in. Thank you to the. The, the people who sub today. Look at all these fucking subs. Josh, Diet Punk, Cody, Caden, Plague. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we're going to go raid over to uh, someone who I think is like a really fucking fun streamer. Um, her name is Auntie Zara. And she is currently doing some exercising, which I'm guessing has been redeemed as... Uh, It is probably some kind of redeem. Um, but we'll go raid over. Uh, Zara's cool as hell. She is also the reason that I had Terry Wogan in my head when we did the whole um, Diet Punk date a couple of days before uh, we did the date with Brooks. I had watched um, Auntie Zara do a stream where she dressed up as Terry Wogan on stream. One of the funniest things that I'd ever seen. Um, she did all her makeup and stuff on the stream as well to make her look more like Terry Wogan. So I had Terry Wogan in my head from Auntie Zara. So it's all her fault. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be playing probably GTA. Ralph will be back in the city. We'll see what's happening. Um, we're going to go over there. Enjoy Auntie Zara. She's fucking lovely. Um, enjoy. I will see you tomorrow. Be good. And if you can't be good, use some bloody protection. See you later. Bye.